Brie Larson is the girl the world has its eye on at the moment. After all, she's starring in the next to-be-released Marvel film, so she's already got a huge audience waiting to see her on the big screen. But with so much pressure from the demands of directors, producers, and fans alike, it's a wonder she hasn't pulled a fast one on us and gotten out of Hollywood. In all fairness, there's simply too much success under her belt to ditch the movie biz, and we've been hearing more and more from her lately as the release of Captain Marvel creeps up on us a little too slowly for our taste. To be honest, Brie has opened up about her feelings about the movie, and they aren't really what we might have expected. Before we hop into the video, remember to subscribe and turn notifications on. And don't forget to leave a like and comment down below saying you did so, and we'll try to respond to as many as you as we can. Make sure you check out our friends over at Lavish Heat, where everything is free. Just cover shipping. Hurry before it ends. Link in the description. Plain Jane While Ms. Larson is now a leading woman in one of the most substantial and popular film franchise on the planet, she certainly hasn't been swept up quite yet by all the spotlights and red carpets. Where many young Hollywood starlets bask in the glow of ever-flashing paparazzi cameras, Brie feels a little too plain to be as famous as she is. In an interview, Brie said, I just didn't feel confident in myself. I didn't feel pretty enough. I thought I'd be a supporting character my whole life, and I was struggling with the idea of being the star. Turns out, Brie is just like the rest of us. Insecure, struggling with self-confidence, and just wondering if she's good enough. Hashtag worth it. It's easy for us normals to think that life in Hollywood is nothing but champagne, parties, and hooking up with other beautiful people. And that's probably all true, but it's not the only thing Hollywood is. Remember, acting and making movies is a job. Actors have a skill and they are paid, quite heftily, for their services in entertainment. And sometimes, that job they get paid for is exhausting. When Brie Larson signed up to do Captain Marvel, she knew what it would entail. This was not some one-off rom-com where she plays the main character's bestie, no. This is a serious movie that has required a lot of physical training, early mornings, and overtime like you wouldn't believe. And Brie was skeptical at first, because who wouldn't be when it comes to signing a deal with Disney. She knew it would take a long time to prepare for the role, and she most likely signed a several movie contract that means she is in it for the long haul. She was very well aware of the sacrifices that would be required. Friends, family, free time, pizza, all of that is a thing of the past. She said of her misgivings, I spent months thinking about whether or not I was going to do the film, and I realized that it was a chance to tell a story on the largest scale possible. I know it's going to make me lose some of the things I love most about my life, but I think it's worth it. Challenge accepted. Almost more than anything, Brie found Captain Marvel to be a massive challenge for her in every possible way, and this actress was not about to turn down a challenge. Even though she is a very serious and very talented actress, hello Academy Award, most of Brie's work has been a lot of side characters, the best friend, the ex-girlfriend, a neighbor. The big thing that's happening here and now is that she is the first female to lead a movie in the Marvel Universe. Sure, Black Widow is hot in black leather, but has she ever had her own movie? Nope. How about Gamora? Nah. With so many kick-ass female characters we've already seen, it's surprising that we've not had a movie for them. In this way, Captain Marvel means something huge. And once Brie Larson realized that the sacrifices would be worth it to make a great film, she dove headfirst into training. The challenge of preparing for a role like this was not something she expected, but it was something she found out she really loved. Training herself both physically and mentally helped her really dive into the character. She also says that for her, all the training is about how far can I take myself to kind of reprogram my brain and reprogram my body to learn something new about myself. This has been an amazing challenge. She's so, so strong. She can move planets. Gender justice. Even in the year 2018, it's impossible for everyone to just be treated the same. This is an issue that Brie Larson has come to see all too well, as her time in Hollywood has taken her to different sets with different co-stars and directors and crew. She has seen herself that women are treated differently from their male counterparts, and she is saying enough is enough. The latest soapbox that Ms. Larson has stepped gracefully atop is the one that says, you should smile more. Yeah. With the recent release of the Captain Marvel trailer, we were all treated to some pretty amazing looking feats and effects. And of course, that drop into Blockbuster, because how else would we know that the movie takes place in the 90s? We left feeling like Carol Danvers is an amazing warrior and probably the one to come save everyone after Infinity War. But a lot of people, men specifically, have said they just want one thing, 
more smiles from Brie. Yeah, it's cool that she can destroy aliens, but she doesn't have to look so mopey doing it, right? Smile, Brie! This went over about as well as you can imagine, and Brie is using the film as a stand against such remarks from men. It really does seem like she's becoming her character, getting into the role, and fighting for justice outside the Marvel Universe. Hopefully, we'll be seeing her a lot more, both on and off the big screen. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe on your way out. Feel free to click any of the end screens on your screen now to watch the next video. See you next time.